Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time to preview this pre-owned Republic Lathe. This is the American Turnmaster Republic Lathe in a model 16 inch by 60 inch between centers. Therefore, we call it the Republic 16 by 60. It's a model 16, serial number 16685010097. This happens to be our stock number 4,713. This Republic 16 by 60 tool room lathe is currently running at 220 volts and due to the fact that it has a two-speed motor it is set up for 220 volts only. If a 440 volt requirement is in your shop we can talk about a uh, external style transformer if required but as it sits this beauty is running at 220 volts three phase and I'd like to point out the condition and the fact that it's an inch metric machine. Therefore, it has inch and metric on the feeds and the threads. It has an excellent range of spindle speeds. While we're up here close to the ways, I'd like to point out the fact that the, uh, the condition on this machine is absolutely exceptional. The cross slide, the ways particularly the ways up near the headstock, the overall condition of the headstock, the way that the feed box threading and gearbox sounds, everything just checks out really nice on this machine. Before we get to running this machine, the last thing I'd like to point out while we're talking about condition is the fact that it was just released from a defense aerospace research facility. Okay, that being said, let's go ahead and uh, run through some of the speeds on this machine, Frank. We have a speed range of 40 to 2,000 RPM with, two, with 16 changes. That's 60. Okay, that's 60 RPM right there. I'm going to kind of get up over your shoulder for a couple of these speed changes if that's okay. okay. And that's okay, now you see what Frankie's doing here. He's going off of a, uh, a two-speed switch. 60. Very cool. Thank you for showing us that. D16 camlock spindle taper. So very popular. It's a D16. I can't believe how quiet and smooth the headstock sounds on this machine. 200 RPM. Okay, so again, we're, we're driving a D16 Camlock spindle taper off of a 7.5 horsepower main drive motor that's currently hooked up at 220 volts. The overall weight on this machine is 3,500 pounds. It's extremely well tooled. 165. Okay, uh, we have a Dorian SD40 CA wedged out quick change tool post that's complete with four holders. 300. 300 RPM. We have coolant on this machine. We have a removable chip pan. We have a heavy duty drill chuck. Here's the beautiful steady rest. The steady rest uh, has the uh, six inch hole in it with the rollers. You'll note that Frankie's hitting the foot brake. The foot brake is painted red. Huge range of threads, huge, huge range of feeds in inch and metric. And again, your RPMs go from 40 to 2,000 RPMs. 245 RPM. So specification wise, we have 16 inches swing over the bed. 60 inches distance between centers. We have 10 and a half inches swing over the cross slide. And then Frankie wanted me to point out. Nice, what RPM? 490. 490. 
You know, Frankie wanted me to point out that we have a natural gap or a, a removable style gap that's 11 inches out from the face of the spindle. So again, we have 11 inches out from the face of the spindle. We can swing 22 inches. Okay, go ahead, bro. It's a hard weigh machine. The overall weight's 3,500 pounds. Six hundred twenty five RPM. Twelve hundred fifty RPM. Beautiful. Yeah, we're pretty stoked that we have this machine available. RPM? 2,000. 2, RPM. That's ripping. Beautiful. Okay, so what we're seeing here is a 10 inch 3 jaw chuck with the D16 direct mount back. And this happens to be a steel Cushman chuck with two-piece uh, reversible top jaws. Again, the Dorian tool post. Here's the steady rest. There's the Jacobs drill chuck. Here's the additional holders that we have. Here's the original owner's manual for the Republic 1660. And here's a very nice 12-inch four-jaw chuck. 12-inch four-jaw chuck, D16. One-piece hard reversible top jaws. Here's the rear splash guard. I just want to sneak up here and show these ways as much as possible. Okay, seven and a half minutes in. What else do we need to cover? Are you engaging some feeds? Yeah, just the feeds. Okay, let me get around there. One second, bro. Five seconds out. Okay, I'm ready. Very wide selection of feed ranges in inch as well as in metric. Let's talk about the threads and the feeds. We have 45 changes in, in uh, inch, ranging from 2 to 72 TPI. So longitudinal, feeding towards the chuck. Longitudinal bed, feeding away from the chuck. Show you the meat and potatoes of this headstock. All right. Well, being such a smooth and quiet machine, we're just really having a great time running the machine. It's very calming, isn't it? Yeah, I do too. Maybe I need to build a shop. So all of the common wear parts are available at the Republic Good Machine Tool out of Los Angeles. This is one of their uh, this is one of their uh, premier lines of uh, lathes that they built back in the uh, 1990s. This machine is very well tooled. It came to us again from government. Uh, it was a government contractor. They do a uh, defense and research in the aerospace defense aerospace research facility. Very well maintained machine, and of course, it inch is inch and metric. All right, well, on behalf of Machinery Consultants, let's wrap it up. We'll keep this one under 10 minutes. All of these photos can be found on our website at www.machineryconsultants.com. This video is also found on our website at machineryconsultants.com. Until next time, we'd like to thank you for your time and preview. And again, be happy, be healthy. Thanks for shopping with Machinery Consultants. Have a great day.